Amber Heard asked for verdict to be tossed for lack of evidence and fake juro. Hello, trending gist lovers. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your girl, Octavia Cora. Now, if you are watching this, you're just coming across the channel for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell and also follow us on Facebook so the conversation can continue. All right, so we're back with some new updates about the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp defamation trial that we thought was over and done with. Although when the verdict verdict came out amber had promised she was coming back that's not the last time you people will be hearing of her so yes this is new update concerning the case so amber had wants to uh amber had wants a do-over in court demanding the judge to toss the verdict against her in the johnny depp defamation trial because of shady evidence and an alleged fake juror now that's deep. The actress lawyer filed new documents this week in Virginia asking for the judge to either set aside the verdict in favor of Johnny Depp entirely, dismissing the, dismissing the complaint or order a new trial. Take your pick. That's what she's saying. Choose which one is more comfy. <laughs> this is getting more messy. Let's keep going. The reasons they lay out are many but essentially fall into three categories one she argues there wasn't sufficient evidence presented on johnny depp's side to convince a jury that her words had hurt his career slash cost him roles and yet they somehow decided she had anyways hmm Amber's attorney argued that Johnny's career was already on the ropes. Now comment down below if you think Johnny Depp's career was already on the ropes. So Amber, Amber's attorney argued that Johnny Depp's career was on the ropes, including within the Pirates franchise. That's the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Before her opened in December 2018 and yet she was found liable for that. Furthermore, Amber Heard's team claimed that Johnny Depp and Co. filed or oh, failed to prove uh failed to prove she acted with actual malice in the sense that there was little to no evidence offered up showing she ever believed she hadn't been abused by him and didn't believe everything, didn't believe every word uttered or written in the op-ed. They also, they also have it on the fact that Amber never named Johnny in the piece and more importantly, insist that the defamatory line in question were in fact true on their face. There is also this, Amber and her team claim that one of the jurors who, decide, who decided her fate may not have actually been the person summoned to court and that the court apparently missed it by not properly vetting them hmm it's juror number 15 whose bet year on paper is 1945 amber's team says they have done a quick search on this would be imposter whom they say is clearly younger than that and it appears this person might have been born in 1970 hmm as a result, they want the court to investigate the matter further. If it's found they, if it's found that they did hmm, erroneously end up on the jury, just another reason to scrap this whole thing and start this scratch. We'll start. Hmm. This will start from the scratch. Okay, mind you, this is not Amber's appeal of the case, which she's vowed to carry out, even though. It would cost her a fortune she apparently doesn't have. Because of this fact, this seems to be a roundabout way to achieve the same thing. Since throwing down any dough. Okay. A judge has yet to rule on her filing. Johnny's attorney, Ben Chu. Ben Chu? Ben Chow. I'm not sure I'm saying his name correctly, but yeah, you guys know what his name is. Johnny's attorney, Ben Chow, said this was to be expected and that nothing substantial, 
nothing substantive was included in her motion. Now, let me know in the comment section, what are your opinion? Were you really... Be uh, were you really expecting this to come this early or were you actually thinking maybe this might come sometime later because in her interview i did not see anywhere where she hinted that she was coming back with anything although her lawyer said they were not backing down but that was from her lawyers but amber had herself maybe she had said it although she said this is a big blow on the faces of people females suffering from domestic violence which some female do not agree with what she said but coming out and saying that one of the jurors is not someone that was supposed to be there is it that the person lied about his age or what is like was he the wrong pick or is that his age was the problem let's discuss this in the comment section keep it moving let let's know what you think about this do you think they should throw out the case and go back to court and i'm thinking if Amber Head is not able to pay that 10.5 or 10.3 billion that she's supposed to pay to Johnny Depp, where is she going to find the money for a new trial? And is, isn't this just too much even on Johnny Depp's side? I know both of them are not saints. They are both guilty of something. But I think at this point, Johnny Depp, Amber Head should both just rest and take what they have and just move on but like i said don't forget to comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are and what you think it's going on now some persons felt like even the interview that uh she had granted people were people were saying why are you even giving her opportunity to even speak but yeah of course everybody needs to speak we live in a democratic world so everybody should be given the opportunity to be able to speak air their views so on and so forth but at this point i don't know what people are going to think concerning this new uh stuff coming from amber head and all of that let me know what is going on in the comment section thank you so very much see you next time let the conversation continue in the comment section bye